Hey guys, so um, this, this is a quick video about um, the font system that I showed before, I think, in another video. Um, I've added, uh, I've fixed it up a bit, added um, the ability to actually save multiple, um, read in multiple font pages, so that, so um, be, this BM font, font tool from Angel Code, like, uh, it'll, it'll build multiple textures, bitmaps. If you have a large character set, now this character set right here that I'm going to be loading in has about 27,000 characters, I think, or 20,000. What does it say here? Yeah, it was about, it was about 28,000 roughly characters. Um, so it had a total of 100 bitmap images that it generated. Now I could have cut that in half if I increased the size, but it really doesn't change anything because... Uh, the size of the image will maybe even take longer. Um, so let me show you what it what it does now. Um, now that so this usually if you were doing a game it would be on a loading screen, but since it's just loading them right off the bat, it looks white for a second. But so there you go. So now as you can see, this is just an example rendering. You know, East Asian font types. Um, this one is of course Chinese. So these are Chinese characters. Now, embedded in the bitmaps are both traditional and simplified. Um, and if you don't know what those are, um, Chinese has sort of two different character types. So there's traditional and there's simplified. Simplified is just simplified versions of the traditional characters. They removed some parts of them, but... And these right here are just uh, what's called the Juyin uh, or Popomofo uh, um, phonetic character system. So sort of like on the on the uh, keyboards, the Chinese keyboards are the ones that also have you know the characters on them, along with the QWERTY characters. That's what these are. Uh, so this is just an, a quick video showing the fact that um, it also works with Unicode. So what I did was I took I designed the API similar to um, the Win32 API, where depending on if the environment is set to Unicode, I implement twice each each function. I implement a an ASCII version and a Unicode version. And the font object um, and the sprite batch render will determine what correct version to use. You can also call each specific one if you want. So you can use the the general one, where it's defined as as now wide, um, or the specific ASCII one. So, and this is just a simple sentence that you know says stuff. If you want to know what this means, it just says I uh, recently started watching a TV drama called that. Um, you light up my star. Uh, so thanks for watching. Um, eventually I'm going to get around to doing the, the uh, tutorial videos on the whole sprite batch, the font system, all that. But I'm still working on it, and I don't want to do a tutorial video on something that's not that I don't have nailed down perfectly um, so yep yeah, that's about it uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more